After blocking food supply to the south, see why tomato farmers are lamenting. As we tell you, as we speak now, a lot of money, a lot of money has been lost due to unnecessary, uh, what's it called now? Is it agitation? And guess what? Is a clear indication, like we've said, if you've been following us, that there is no leadership whatsoever in Nigeria. How come the federal government cannot sort this out? Of course, they can't. The issue of headsmen in the south, southwest, southeast, and south south, all Muhammad Buhari needs to do, if he says it's not a part of it, is give a press statement, an executive order as to what should be done. Farmers, go to your farms. Headsmen, go back to your states, get your ranches. If you want to get a ranch in the south, no problem. Negotiate with the landowner, buy your property, use it for whatever purpose you deem fit as it suits the environment. Problem solved. Anybody found with a weapon that is not supposed to be with them, they should be, they should be uh, what's it called, investigated, prosecuted. See, the whole issue of length to breadth would have been solved in a single blow. But guess what? Because we have no leadership, this is current, currently Nigerians' dilemma. Farmers are the ones going through this unnecessary, you know, untold hardship and suffering. Let's get in straight into the news and get all the details. Breaking news. After blocking food supply to the south, see why tomato farmers are lamenting. After news broke the internet that, following the processed money treatment that the northern cattle rarers claim the south are unleashing on them they have decided to stop the flow of food from the north to the south the northern farmers have cried out <laughs> it's just starting they've cried out to ease the blockage as they lost 10 billion in just one week they've lost already 10 billion 10 10 after reports had it that the amalgamated Union of Foodstuffs and Cattle Dealers in Nigeria have started diverting food made for the south part of Nigeria to neighboring countries. Tomatoes farmers have cried out due to their loose, huge losses already. In just one week of not supplying to the southern part of the country, tomato farmers have reportedly lost 10 billion already because the neighboring countries that they supply to most of them do not need it as much as the south will normally need this food item especially tomato the ones that are being supplied have gone but the others are still there according to a trader musa tijani who said this on phone claimed that most times they do dash out most of their perishable goods since they are unable to sell it. He however urged the Amalgamated Union of Foodstuffs and Cattle Dealers of Nigeria to reconcile with the southern counterpart in order to resume normancy to the country. Northern tomato traders said they have lost equivalent of 10 billion in just one week after the foodstuff blockage to the southern part has been blocked by the Baetiela who said they've been treated unfairly by the southern counterpart and as such wants to treat and show them teach them a lesson so this is where we are farmers are crying because of some people who feel that they have uh, what's it called now they they are untouchable they are the leaders or they are the people who should be looked at. I don't know. I, I honestly, I have, I lack words to be able to explain to you how lack of leadership has shown, shown Nigeria into the very pre present predicament that we are in. A group of persons feel that they've been unfairly treated. Excuse me. Are you talking about unfair treatment? Do you even know what that means? Do you understand what it means to have unfair treatment? Like seriously? Do you understand the effrontery of what you are talking about? People are being killed, to mention the least. Killed, killed. That means they don't have opportunity to live their life again. You know, you don't understand it. These people come to the south, yes, block the roads, kidnap people, demand for ransom, to mention but a few. Do you understand what is really going on in the country? 
And guess what? We have the man called the president of the country. If you look at what is going on, what we really we begin to we begin to really struggle to say: Do we really have a president? And now the the North has decided to divert food that they should be supplying to the southern part of the country to Bene Republic Cameroon. But guess what? This country as well have their own farm produce. Remember that they were surviving even without. Nigerian, Nigeria traders supplying these foodstuffs to them. They had their market of their own. So what will happen is why demand becomes low in the south, price will go up. Yes, then why price goes up in the south, price will crash in Benin Republic and as well as um, in Benin Republic as well as in Niger Republic. Why? They had a system that was working. There was a constant flow and supply of food resources. That being said, we trying to supply to them does not give them, I mean, they can't be bothered. You see what I'm talking about? So because of excess supply, demand will, I mean, the, the, the market will be, it will be, it will be, it will be, it will be flooded. So price will, will what will happen to price? Go down. So you can see that is a case of penny wise, pound foolish. Because you, Maiti Allah, that says you want to deal with the southern part of the country, there's what we call actions and reactions. Actions began consequences. Why is the south now, since years they've been working together, north and south, no problem? How come this is happening? One, criminals got into your midst. Are you guys ready to fish out these criminals so everybody can work together in harmony and peace? No. So how do you, I, I don't understand it. How do you expect normancy? How do you expect normancy? So you can see, uh, you can see that Nigeria is not ready for what is currently on ground. Honestly speaking, not ready in any way, form or kind. You can see that Nigeria is not ready. So, I mean, it is what it is. And um, we are currently in a situation where we have no government, nobody uh, particularly looking after the issues of the country, and uh, we are where we are. Uh -huh. That's the current situation. We are actually where we are. We'd like you to leave us a comment. Let us hear what you think. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. A very warm big thank you to you. God bless you. Bye for now.